Hi! I want to show you how to make your own hummingbird nectar. Really easy and only two ingredients. All you need is water and sugar. That's it. And your ratio is one cup of sugar to four cups of water. So you'll need a container to mix it in. I love this glass mason jar. It holds enough for two days worth of hummingbird nectar. My feeder is 30 ounces and this can fill it up twice. I use, I go through 30 ounces a day. I have some very, a lot of very hungry hummingbirds at my house. I love to watch them, it's so much fun. The very top is eight cups. So I'm not even going to measure my water. I will measure my sugar. So I'm gonna pour a little bit of water in my jar and then I'm going to measure out two cups of sugar. Hummingbirds are such cute little things. They are the only bird that can fly back. Those little birds can eat half, they need to eat half of their body weight in sugar every day and they can eat up to two times their body weight. But their body weight's not very big. They weigh less than a nickel, a lot of them. Okay, so I'm gonna give this a little shake and then I filled it up about halfway with water. And then I'm going to put this in the microwave for three minutes to bring it up to a boil. If you are opposed to using a microwave, that's okay. You can put your water on the stove top and bring it up to a boil and then mix it with your sugar. I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. In the microwave for three minutes. dishwasher so my jar was already clean and then I've boiled the sugar water and if you boil your sugar water you can store it you could store this for several days in the fridge okay I'm just going to top this off with some pretty hot water fill it to the top and give it another stir and that's it. That's our nectar. And you do not need any red food coloring. The hummingbirds don't need it. It's bad for them. It's toxic for their little bodies. They find the feeder. And did you know hummingbirds can't smell? They have no sense of smell, which is too bad because think of all the flowers they visit every day. They can't even smell them. They do not need red food coloring. They love this clear. They drink 30 ounces of it a day, so they must not mind that it's not red. So there we have our hummingbird nectar. I'm going to put the lid on this. I love these lids for storage. They're great. I'm going to put this in the fridge for a few hours. I filled up my hummingbird feeder a few hours ago, so I'm going to let them empty that. I think the hummingbirds have drained this feeder enough. We'll go fill it. In between each use, I wash the hummingbird feeder. Just with a little soap and water. Put it in there, shake it up a little bit. There's usually little black marks on it. I just want to make sure to get those all off. Just use a little dish detergent. Get that all nice and clean. And a toothbrush that I just keep under my sink. And it's really easy to just brush off each little flower, get all that black stuff off so it's clean for the hummingbirds each time. So on the outside and as well as the inside. 
Sometimes I'll even find little tiny black feathers in here. So you want to just make sure it's nice and clean. Rinse it off really well. And then fill it up. This is really handy to get down in there. Just scrub it all out. Doesn't have to be perfect. But do make sure to get all that soap out. Okay, looks great. Get it filled up. The hummingbirds are circling the hanging chain out there. I can see seven hummingbirds circling out there, waiting for their sugar water. Okay, here's the nectar we made earlier. It's been in the fridge. Now it's just lukewarm. So I'm going to fill up the feeder. And then I'm going to put this back in the fridge for tomorrow. See how easy that was to make our own? Okay, little hummers. See how long it takes you to come and find your new nectar. Well, I think they like it. There's not enough flowers for everyone. See how they perch on that little plastic? Their little feet aren't strong enough. They have weak little feet. So they can't hop around and walk around like other birds. Their feet are just made to perch like that, just just to hang on and go left to right. But, but they don't hop around on the ground. Their feet are, are not strong enough. Wow, they love that sugar water. So again, the ratio is one cup of sugar to four cups of water. That's it. Look how happy we've made the hummingbirds today.